So for juice patients, I think we think very much, especially in the metastatic disease setting, about using systemic therapy, and that is very important. I think one of the things that especially I know in, uh, when these agents were first available, um, we thought less and less about the role of surgery. Before tyrosine kinases were available, surgery was really the only effective option that these patients had. With tyrosine kinase inhibitors being so effective, we sort of forgot about their use or how to combine them. Um, over time, however, we've really come to understand a couple of things. Um, we do see patients in whom their disease is controlled um, for the most part, but maybe there's one lesion that has started to progress. And so do you give up on the agent the patient's on that seems to be controlling most of the disease? Um, or can you consider another form of therapy such as surgery? And I think increasingly we do that um, and to the benefit of patients. Uh, certainly with imatinib, it is very straightforward. There are no issues in terms of potentially increased risk of bleeding or wound healing issues, and patients can take their therapy up to the night before surgery, at least that's our standard practice where I work, um, and then resume it as soon as they are able to eat and drink normally and the surgeon is comfortable with them doing so. It's a little bit more complicated in patients who are on sutent and regorafnib because they do have some VEGF targeted therapy uh, targets, um, and so there are some issues potentially with wound healing and or bleeding. And so uh, we're a little bit more conservative with these patients and typically you know, five to seven days before a surgery, one would have them hold their therapy and then uh, would, most surgeons wanna make sure that patients have good wound healing before they resume therapy. So I think the other thing that we think about are other forms of localized therapy, in particular liver-directed therapy. Um, our interventional radiologists have uh, techniques for embolization, sometimes radiofrequency ablation, um, and occasionally there is a role for radiation therapy as well. So working with a multidisciplinary team who uh, is thinking um, about all of these modalities with you is helpful um, to make sure that um, we're getting the best for our patients. Um, Certainly when a patient presents and we're thinking about what is the best therapy at the outset, um, typically when a patient has metastatic disease, we will start with surgery, uh, excuse me, we will start with systemic therapy and then do surgery. There are certainly times when surgery needs to be the first um, thing to do, and that's if a patient is presenting with obstruction, which is not terribly common with GIST, uh, but there are patients who may present with perforation, um, and certainly a uh, perforated tumor can be a medical emergency and should be treated as such even in the setting of metastatic disease.